always like this. I, if things aren't just right, it drives me crazy. All right. Describe what you mean by crazy. If things aren't perfect, I can't eat, I can't sleep, I'm so tired. I know exactly how you feel, Goldie. Sometimes I think I could close my eyes and sleep for a hundred years. That's why we call you Sleeping Beauty. You don't know tired until you've cooked and cleaned 24-7-7. 24 7 7? 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and grumpy, dopey, sleepy, dark, stinky, poopy, and hash mark. That sounds just like my Valian. He's like all seven dwarves rolled into one big package. <laughs> I love him, though. But he's very high maintenance. You're a caretaker, Snow. Isn't that what you're working on here? It's nice that you spend time with the little people, but you've got to look out for number one. Now, can we get back to me? Yes, well, someday my prince will come, and this will just be another repressed memory. A prince is not a magic bullet. Cinderella's right. They kiss you, they marry you, then they're off for months, sometimes years at a time, slaying dragons. Oh, yeah, well, you're stuck at the castle with the in-laws riding you about when you're gonna present them with a male heir. Then they come back, present you with a dragon's tooth, and expect you to drop to your knees and give them a snow job. <gasps> We'll see. Ooh, pretty color. Poison apple red. My stepmother gave it to me. Can we for once not talk about the princes? I mean, has anyone seen Rapunzel? I'm worried about her. This is the third week she hasn't shown. Maybe she got a haircut. Okay, maybe she got eaten alive by wolves. That's your issue, Red, isn't it? Look, have you ever been eaten alive? It'll send your butt skipping right back to that poppy field. So you've been grabbed by a flying monkey. You haven't known fear. I might like being grabbed by a flying monkey. <laughs> Both of you were warned not to talk to strangers. People who live in glass houses. Or glass coffins. <laughs> Shut up! Ladies, please, let's be constructive here. This is a uh, support group. Uh, uh, Clara? You seem very quiet. Because you're new here? I, I don't belong here. I'm not like all of you. I'm just your average divorced single mom. Not like us. You hear that, ladies? She's not like us. Who's not like us? All women are like us. You have been through some things that are so grim. We're not all grim. Haven't you ever felt like you're not in Kansas anymore? Well, I, I'm from Jersey, but yeah. Haven't you ever been undermined by a crazy bitch with a capital W? My ex-mother-in-law. Uh-huh. Oh. And once, I had a neighbor who tried to poison my dog. Oh. <laughs> Haven't you ever had to believe in yourself when no one else did? Yes, yes, I have. And you survived. You're a warrior, just like us. If you don't mind me asking, what exactly is it that brings you here? Child abuse? Narcolepsy? Drug addiction? Dark forest syndrome? Obsessive compulsive disorder? My ex spent our nest egg on X, our kid has ADHD, and I have PMS. Our life's a lot more like the alphabet song than a fairy tale. Um, I want, wanted, I believed in happily ever after. I had these visions walking down the aisle in my beautiful wedding gown of how we would fulfill our vows. We would have beautiful children. And we would love each other till the end of time. Don't we all, in the deep, dark dungeons of our psyches guarded by trolls, don't we all? So it didn't happen. What are you going to do? Hide under the covers for a hundred years? End of story? No. That's right, no. We're survivors. You can't go home again, because you're not the same girl you were when you left. A wise caterpillar once told me, things aren't always as they appear. Girl, seriously, you have got to lay off the hookah. You too, Clara, are the stuff of legends. I believe all women are heroes in their own stories. You think so? Yeah. You guys are so great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ladies. I think this has been very productive. But 
I'm afraid it's time to stop. Ladies? I hate it when he does that. People come and go so quickly. Everywhere. Oh, fuck! What, what time is it? I gotta go. Oh, uh, wait. Your shoe. Oh, I need to get coffee. Same time next week. Weather permitting. Too sweet. And this office is way too hot. And don't you think Doc's couch is way too soft? You know, I know two people named Doc. It's not funny. I would kill for those shoes. Yeah.